guys welcome back to the channel hey another busy week productive week still recovering from all this hail damage you can see some on that garage right there got the 78 30 here in front of the shop i think my brother's gonna service that change the oil in it and hook it up to the 30 foot bean drill that'll be next on the agenda remember this kong's kildee eight bottom plow she was red we're done with it um as mentioned before we pulled it in front dad power washed it and decided we we're gonna paint it green had a subscriber actually put on there hey you should paint that baby green usually what we do is we'll paint it the original color it covers a lot easier and it uh that's just how you do things but on this farm, everything's pretty much green anyway. So we went ahead, me and dad did that. And I tell you what, it looks pretty good. That's a heck of a looking rig there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, unhook this, hook that back up to the new, our new disc we just bought. We're done with that already. We just plow one field with it. That's all you needed. Purpose of this video, I wanna show you how we clean out our heifer barns. Mark, my brother's in action with dad. Let's check them out. manure spreader filled up we're gonna follow him down he's gonna dump it we're spreading about a mile down the road at our dry cow lot because around here these fields are gonna be getting ready to be planted corn so we don't want to be spreading on them right now we're gonna spread on some fields down there that we're gonna plant later on you'll get a good look at that field he mow board plowed and then he dissed and you'll see he's got it looking pretty good so you should see it and uh, let's do it
See now, isn't that a nice sight? And that's why you do it. That's why you clean all the pens, haul out all that manure, and bed it down. That's corn stover. Uh, bale that, corn stalks, call them corn stalk bales. Two bales in there. We use it to supplement, so we don't, if we don't bale enough straw, we'll bale some of this. Uh, we can get it dry enough. Sometimes it's hard to get dry in the fall like that. But well, look at them all. I mean, that's content. That's what you want. And you do you do all that so they can be comfortable. So your girls and look how clean they are. That's pretty clean for being in a, a pen pack, is what you call this. And they, I tell you, they look good. Straight backs and the whole thing. That one's obviously in heat. See, they all sense that they're going to start jumping her. That white one. Now these two are going to fight over. So we did that. Let's just keep on moving. Unhook this white. You've seen it smoking up from that drone footage. I think we got a bad piston in there. So we had to unhook this. We're going to send it up to get checked out. We don't do a lot of major mechanic work here on the farm. We've got a guy we've dealt with here for many years. He's going to look at this and I'll show you the tractor. We're going to have to hook up to something else up on that manure spreader. That's, that's, a, that's a plus on having extra tractors sitting around, you know. Next man up, it's a little John Deere older one. Uh, fields are drying out springtime, so we're not worried about four-wheel drive right now, so we can put a two-wheeler on it. So we'll get this. I'll keep you updated on this tractor, and we'll see see what the heck went wrong with it. But she sure is smoking bad. Yeah, here she is all hooked up, ready to go. Got the right fittings on there. Right PTO shaft. Good old girl. We usually cut hay with this. Uh, use it on a little, well, I shouldn't say a little 16 foot disc mine. Or 16 foot sickle bar mower we still use. Just been a good old girl. So we'll use it on this until we get that, get that white fixed. He wanted it on that trailer. He wasn't waiting around. We're going to take it up there. That's what this tractor is good for. That's our main purpose. So we're not get this fixed, get it, get it back on the spreader, so we can free that girl up here another month. We'll be cutting hay, so no time to wait. Yeah, another thing we got done was got this John Deere disc ready. Dad found this disc sitting in the weeds. The weeds were over top of it. What saved this thing was it was in transport. Transports right here. So the disc blades on this thing, good to go. All the bearings, good to go. Uh, the tires were rotted right off it. Look at those spoke wheels. I don't know if any of you guys know how old this is. Comment below, please. 70s? Never had one with spoke wheels. We've had a lot of these. So we put a little paint job on it, nothing fancy. Didn't have a cylinder. Man, it's getting windy out here. Put a cylinder on it and she's good to go that'll lower the tires up the wheels up and down let the disc eat I mean, these discs are someone's gonna have a lot of fun with this i'm getting ready to put it up for sale you know a guy will hook on to that this is a john deere disc you can tell by the hitch that's how them hitches are at john deere's and uh i'll get it listed and someone's just gonna have i mean people are wanting to grow their own food more and with everything going on in the world let them do it you know i uh Good week this week, sold a two bottom plow. Got another one sitting there for sale. Sold a, a disc like this, sold a, like an international 10 footer. And uh, so people are, they're wanting to grow their own food, so why not, you know? And then if you can see, he's got another one sitting here for me. This one, look at the disc blades. This is the transport lever, okay? This was not in transport, it's sitting in the ground rotting it off a little bit this little girl was in transport his whole life uh tires were rotted off it ended up getting tires uh broke them down put tubes in them she's good to go so let's move on i feel like dad and i even my brothers we were part equipment dealers in our past life uh, i mean it just seems to come natural with equipment we like it and he's just good at making anything better than what it was it's uh, a lot of people some people have that talent some people don't hey i hope you like this video here cleaning them heifer barns you've seen the white she's down but she's not out she'll be back so on that note make sure you hit the likes and subscribe buttons and uh 
See you in the next video. Thanks.